Why hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Valkyrie Profile Covenant of the Plume. Last time we had a couple cutscenes with Wally and Fifi and the others of Househorn, as well as a new character, Foxnell. He's a guy. Yes, it's a male, and indeed, actually, yeah. Today, we journey to the Shire to assist Wally in um, defending his thief. Wally being here as a guest in our party, and he's actually pretty decent with 300 attack and 300 RDM reduced damage. He is about as good as Ernest, except he has way more range due to being an archer. So not bad, Wally, not bad at all. And we are in that courtyard again, as per usual. Well, the problem is again, these stairs are pretty tight. So I'm gonna stun all the enemies in order to, well, get down the stairs without a problem. There's also a treasure over there. And then a lesser vampire. You're not an elder vampire, you're a lesser vampire. Oh my. A vampire there. Vampires are annoying because they can use magic. Oh well. So, Gleitnir's bonds. I could dash, yes, but... I don't think it's really worth it on the first turn there. Also, that living armor is the leader here. Not that it matters a whole lot, but, well, I guess it is worth mentioning. So, Wilfred needs to replenish his thing. And everyone else can probably do with Spell reinforced. buffs. Might reinforce. Not like I really need all these buffs, but hey, why complain where you have them? I also set up new spells or different spells on my mages. Let me give you a proper farewell. I invoke the rights of fiery Muspelheim and give my soul up to the Inferno's embrace. I thought we are fighting plants, so... Isn't that the best you've ever had? We are fighting plants, so might as well use fire. Right? I think I managed to work up a sweat. Good job, Lisa. It doesn't really matter all that much what spells you actually have equipped. At least not on a new game plus. On a regular new game, you may want to pay more attention to weaknesses and resistances, but New Game Plus, you're just so powerful, generally speaking, that you can annihilate just about everything. So, let's see here. I want to park you there. Ooh. I may have made a mistake. I never miss. Oh well, I don't think it's gonna matter too much. I do kind of need to 
Uh, with you actually, it doesn't really matter. How about you hold your position? Good, we are not attacking this turn. I made a mistake! <laughs> Hey, my enemies are among the living again. So, how about we place you... 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 Hmm. Let's start with this one. To see an assassin is to see your life save. That's cool. Be no more. Is one. The pure destructive force of having two mages. It's pretty nice. <laughs> so, next. Let me show you what I can do. Sure. to work up a sweat oh by the way we need to rack up quite a lot of sin in this battle I think sin requirement 440 getting that not so hard getting twice that for the best rewards much harder so Can I get in range with this Joker? Yes, I can. And I'm still out of range of the... Vida's Hush, what... Does that require 80 AP? You just stay there and... You attack, and then we hope the vampire is not smart. Fear is the true test of courage. Toxic flowers a little bit more powerful than Mandragoras. For you, father. The problem now is we are standing in the perfect pattern for an area of attack still. <laughs> yeah. And fortunately the vampire is a silly goose. Hush. Silences all enemies. It should also work on the leader. Why well, yes it does. Not that that guy has any spells, but well. Let's start with a toxic flower there. That should be good. Fear is the true test of courage. Yeah yeah. Let's overkill. Let me give you a proper farewell. I invoke the right to fiery Muspelheim and give my soul up to the Inferno's embrace. If 
for each caress! Wasn't that the best you've ever had? I've seen worse, but not much. Yay, you murder. Um, anyway... There's one more... Mandragora left. I can... Kill here. Hmm. And I think I sh shall... Besiege the lady. This is complete overkill, but... Too many horrors have I seen to look away now. Hey, why not? Sure, the Mandragra was delighted. <laughs> now, silencing the vampire is not absolutely necessary. It just would be nice if he didn't get poisoned and had to sit through the poison animation every round. <laughs> I did a practice run of this yesterday, and not even Luxwell was able to one-shot those guys. To think that, well, how sweet the fragrance of blood. Yeah. Um. But yes, he just sucked her blood. He does that. But so I don't trust you to let that guy live. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Do we have any spells that might come in handy? Can't try to suspend motion that guy up there. I don't think I can position myself differently. No. Ooh, I don't know. How about I just sit pat as well? Hmm. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Reinforce. Buff my dudes, and then annihilate the vampire. Fear is the true test of courage. I think he's dead, yes. I wonder who did get in the final hit, whether it was Lisa or Billy. The battle is won. Billy, friggin' kill stealer. <laughs> the living armor has incredible range. Fortunately, it's not very smart. And now I would kind of, um, I would like to not one-shot this guy, especially since um, Firestorm only deals a single hit. I'm gonna send Wilfred over to get that one treasure over here. 
It's not really anything I need, but... A sword that's super effective against beast-type enemies. Sure, why not? <laughs> so, how should I kill you, though? You need to re-establish your spell, Reinforce! You still have yours. But I think this guy doesn't have my reinforce. Might reinforce. Just a precaution so we can kill this guy better. Two arms. We advance. Yeah, yeah, you say that every time. I think that'll do, yes. <laughs> Was it good for you? Also, yes, I'm trying to end just about every battle battle with Miselotte dealing the final hit so we can get as many of her quotes as possible. Well, 40 more Synac Rot than necessary for the best rewards? Barely. <laughs> Not like we get uh, anything actually good, but oh well. Let us go hence and reap sin for the plume. What's that, Foxy? Foxy. Your name is now Foxy. The thing from Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> yes. Oh no. But you don't want to live far more, seriously. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. oh yes, what happened to that? Why were you staying behind? Did you want to watch the spectacle of monsters tearing through House Horn? Ah. Oh. Okay. Well, Valmur, if you're inclined to believe him, so shall I. <laughs> huh. Speak no more. <laughs> well, oh sure, let's go through with this cutscene. We've pretty much seen it before, anyway, on the sea path. <laughs>
Yeah, I know, right? She's a lobster. Do ho 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 ho. <laughs> oh well, and from here on out, well, we've pretty much seen the scene before. I'll go through it anyway, but... Well, there we go. Househorn will not fight. Well, it's rather obvious what she would have you do, and that's joining either side and fighting the war. <laughs> I mean, seriously, Valmor. I wonder whether the Margrave Freienburg actually calls upon House Horn as well. I mean, they didn't mention anything about that, so I'd say he is confident enough to not require the assistance of House Horn. Well, and she runs off, and guess what? <laughs> Good job, Fifi, running straight into the enemy's arms. Again. <laughs> This battlefield will, however, have to wait until next time. Of Let's Play Valkyrie Profile Covenant of the Plume, and despite what the scene may or may not have implied, we don't get Fifi as a party member. Spoiler alert, Fifi is a party member! It's a thing! Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Let's Play Valkyrie Profile Covenant of the Plume. This is Legion, and fare thee well!